Yo! Yes, I'm playing the GBA version. Deal with it. <laughs> Get the Rareware flag, we got the Nintendo flag! And of course, the Nintendo and Rareware flag together. It's Donkey Kong Country 2! Proxima, welcome! Arr, welcome aboard the wonderful world of Donkey Kong Country 2. So this is the GBA port, it's the version I grew up with, and if you couldn't tell by the stream title, I'm doing hard mode of the game, and hard mode's only available in the GBA version, so that's the version we're going to be going with. So, in order to do this, well, we got an empty file. Brand brand new game file. We gotta go to cheats. And we're gonna enter a nice little cheat code. Rock hard. It's like rock hard, but without the H, because I don't know, we're we're pirates. And that's gonna make the game harder. How is it gonna make the game harder? Um it's gonna remove all DK buddy barrels and all checkpoint barrels, so yeah, difficulty's gonna get amped up by kind of a lot. <laughs> And hey, if we try, we might even be able to get uh, 100% in the game. I had to kind of like to 100% this, because, well, it's fun, and unlike in Donkey Kong Country 1, you actually get bonus levels if you do that, so. One player. Oh, my initials. Oh, <laughs> I don't even need my initials. I can go R. R T. R D. <laughs> oh, you haven't finished two yet. Two is my personal favorite Donkey Kong Country, and I think it is, I think, most people's favorite. It basically, it takes the first game, which is already really good, and then just kind of polishes it even better and improves on it even more. It's fantastic. We're almost certainly not going to beat the entire game this stream, but we can get decently far, I think. Glad you're here. Let's start. Also, the GBA version gets this nice little opening cutscene to actually establish the plot. Because if there's one thing the Donkey Kong Country games are known for, it's their plot. Whoa, dude, come on in and join me! The waves are excellent! Now, Donkey Kong knows what's up. He's just chilling out, having a smoothie. <laughs> well, well, what do you think you're doing shitting around all day? They won't get much of a game out of this, will they? I thought you were supposed to be a big star. Even video game heroes get time off. I never did, whisking off maidens and throwing barrels around seven days a week I was. That's how I got where I am today, you know. Hard work, none of this lazing around on a beach. Why don't you go off and pester Diddy or something? Leave me in peace for once. Ha! He's off somewhere with that girlfriend of his. But still, I can see when I'm not wanted. Cranky Calm best character. And K-Roll ain't messing around in this game. I'll make sure DK never messes up my plans again! You lot, go down to DK Island and bring that pesky primate to me! Sure, boss. No worries. Dude, Donkey Kong kicked Kremlin butt last game. You think you're gonna take him that easily? That's a lot of crocodile. Oh, well. This time they're lugging swords. No, his prize lawn chair! How could they? You are never going to see your friends or GK Island again! <laughs> K. Rool's one of the best villains. What's up, Mobius? Welcome to Donkey Kong Country 2. It's fantastic. Oh no, they left footprints behind, even though they swung down on ropes and just carried him up to the airship. What? Look! A note! Read it, then! Hurry, Cranky! What does it say? Give me a chance! I'm not as quick as I used to be! It says... Apparently Diddy and Dixie are completely incapable of actually reading. Ha-ha-ha! <laughs> we have got the big monkey! If you want him back, you scurvy dogs, you'll have to hand over the banana horde! Captain K. Rule. Hey, Dusk! Welcome! <laughs> I thought we'd seen the last of that old rascal. Oh, I'm sorry, that was wrinkly. <laughs> well, I suppose we better give him the bananas, hadn't we? <laughs> After all we did to get the back last time! DK would go crazy if he lost his horde again! Ah, this story's even worse than Donkey Kong Country's! 
They're really scraping the bottom of the barrel this time. Have you got any ideas how to get DK back? Let's go over to Crocodile Isle and rescue DK. I'm sure Spit not gonna do it. Not that I'm past my prime, mind you. I could still do a better job than the rest of you put together. But I wouldn't be seen dead in a game that scrolls head and has bonus levels and end bosses. <laughs> Wait till tomorrow, then we'll all go. No, we must go now. Ungard will take us. Yeah, we'll meet you there. Come and see us if you need any help. All right, time for the best world map music ever. Welcome to Crocodile Isle is the best map music ever. All right, we're off in Gameplank Galleon, the pirate ship. All right, level one, Pirate Panic. This one will be super easy. Also, because we're on hard mode, there are no DK buddy barrels, which means we will always start with DK and Dixie. Or D Technically, Diddy's initials are DK, with Diddy and Dixie at the start of every level. But then if we lose the call, then we don't get them back until we've completed the level. Or until we die. And we need that because, well, the team-up function is necessary in order to get some of the stuff in the game. And we're just going to warp through all this. Level warp! We'll come back and get the stuff on this level later. Best part of the game right there. I mean, how many other video game stars pull out a boombox and do a dance move when they complete a level? It's fantastic! Alright, time for Main Brace Man. This is the real first level, because we're actually going to go and look for the bonus stuff. <laughs> Wee! I like the... I prefer the... I have played the SNES version and the GBA version. I prefer the GBA version, because I grew up with it, and I think it just has some quality of life improvements. You hope the people who voted for the game are watching, because you didn't? Well, you know what? I've, I've wanted to play this game, and it did take second place in the poll, so... Find the Creme Coin! easy. I think that the GBA version controls a little bit better, even if the graphics are a bit worse. Also, I mean, you can save wherever you want, and you don't have to pay to save in this version, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> Those guys are kind of annoying to take out. Gold feather! That's another thing that the GBA version added. The gold feathers. Whoop. Yoink! Take that, you rats. I really love DK Country 2. There are very few levels in DK Country 2 that I don't like. Whereas I feel like the first DK Country had a couple of them. Okay, this cleaner is a little annoying to take out. Come on. Why is he not jumping? Diddy Kong, you gotta jump, man. Come on. Also, while, that's, while the GBA has a more limited, like, sound font... It does a really good job of porting the music over. Like, I'm a big fan of the GBA soundtrack. Whoosh! Hey, Jay, what's up? We're, have a, we're having a swashbuckling time in Donkey Kong Country 2. Oh, I love this bonus barrel. If we time this just right... <laughs> I love that. You've been playing this on the SNES? I do love the SNES version. It's amazing. I just slightly prefer the GBA version, and it's mainly just because I grew up with it. But I am not here to diss the SNES version at all. It's gorgeous! <laughs> I don't think you're really missing out if you grew up with the GBA version. Really? Like, the SNES version has better graphics and, you could argue, better music. I think that some of the tracks in the uh, SNES version are definitely better. But on the whole, I feel like the GBA version just kind of improved on stuff, or made it... Again, it just had those quality of life improvements. Boonk! Like being able to save anywhere. 
It also added some exciting new bonus games, like Espresso Racing. Honestly, most of the mini games that it added kind of suck. I fully admit that, but I like the Game Boy Advance, and this is still one of the prettiest Game Boy Advance games. Hey, Cranky! Come and say hello to your old grandpappy Cranky. I'm here to offer you my wealth of gameplay and wisdom for a small price. Plus, I also have an extra surprise for you. Use up and down on the D-pad to choose between the options on the menu. Cranky surprise. With my newly acquired wealth from Donkey Kong Country, I have bought this bird. What wealth? There are no coins in that game. With your help, I'm sure we can turn him into a champion racing bird. At the moment, he's far too small to race. We need to make him stronger. Hidden on each level is a golden feather like this one. Find the feathers and bring them back to me. You'll need to find at least four feathers before we can race. Oh, we'll tell you more, more once we have the feathers. Well, actually, we're not going to race until we have all the feathers. <laughs> when you need more advice, which you will, I might like help again if you're lucky. <laughs> True, you can save anywhere you want for save states. It's a matter of personal choice. I totally get why people like the SNES version better. Anyhow, Game Point Galley. Oh, let's see if I remember which chest has the creme coin. I think it's the third one. That's not the third one. Boom! Yeah, I played this game a lot. Not as much as the first Donkey Kong Country. Uh, hey, uh, Dixie, you gotta grab onto the hook there, girl. Thank you. Oh yeah, in the GBA version, unlike in the first Donkey Kong Country, it actually does have the little sky effects on this level to transition from day to sunset, which is really cool. Yeah, there's supposed to be a DK barrel up at the top of that, but, uh, no DK barrel. Give me the money. Wonderful. I don't think there are any bonus pearls back there. Okay, the invincibility sound in the GBA version is really bad. I fully admit that. <laughs> it sounds totally different in the SNES version. Anyhow, find the creme coin. I'll do better than that. I'll collect it, too. We gotta get those creme coins. They lead to some really tough levels. Bada beam, bada boom. Alright, off to Kong College. We gotta learn, folks. Hello, dearies. I'm Miss Wrinkly Kong, headmistress here at the Kong College. You spelled the college wrong. <laughs> I'm available to teach courses on how to play this game. Use up and down under the D-pad to choose between my options on the menu. Now then, how can I help you? Give me homework. You want a homework project, do you? You are good children. Well, I have the very fiend. Here, take this empty book. I want you to fill it with pictures of all the strange creatures you encounter. How do you get the pictures? Well, it is simple. Just look out for any bad guys with a camera above their heads. When you defeat them, you will be rewarded with a picture. I have heard there are also a few cameras lying around on the levels just waiting to be picked up. For each page you fill with pictures, I'll give you one of these strange hero coins that my husband left lying around. And that's why we skipped the first level. Goodbye, dearies. Because there's a camera on the first level, but we can't pick it up until after doing that. That's another change I like to the GBA version. The cameras are actually fun to collect in this. The Deka Country 1 GBA, the cameras were very unintuitive. They're a lot more intuitive in this one. Haha, <laughs> we have the big monkey. If you want him back, hand over the banana horde. That was your only way of knowing the plot in this nest version. <laughs> I like <laughs> maybe this I'm in the minority. I love the cartoony sound effects in this when you hit <laughs> when you hit the enemies. <laughs> Whoop. Give me that gold feather. I just realized <laughs> we're never gonna use Dixie Cone unless I physically swap to her. Or I guess if we die, then sure, that also works. 
find the Krem coin. We're gonna get fabulously wealthy in both coins and lives in this game. Because I am pretty good at this game. I have played it a lot. <laughs> One of my favorite games. Probably my favorite 2D platformer of all time. Yeah, this is why we had to get the scrapbook in the Colin College. It's in this bonus room. Destroy them all! That's what Rambi does best! Boink! Rambi is the best animal, buddy. Like, by a mile. We're gonna get to 99 lives in this, <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Although this game does get very hard, eventually. Especially in the last couple of worlds. World 5 is where things really get kicked into overdrive. Anyhow. <laughs> Diddy's face will cover the entire map. This I promise you. <laughs> oh yes, time for best music, Lockjaw's Locker. Well, one of the best musics. Also, they still got that nice 3D background, even in the GBA version. Free stuff. Hard to complain of free stuff. Uh-oh. Just to be on the safe side, we'll let Mr. Flotsam swim by. Hi, Lockjaw. You're guarding on guard. Oh no! Diddy! Rip Diddy, he's dead forever. Oh, really? <laughs> Diddy's samples also are the Kremlin. Uh, that's funny. Wow, I actually remembered my way for the maze. Amazing! Well... Uh oh Yeah, on guard's... On guard's pretty good, because he can actually attack underwater, but he's not... He's got nothing on Rambi. Well, guess we're not getting the prize for that. This whole game has such a phenomenal soundtrack, like, one of the best ever. There are no songs in this game where I'm like, oh, that's a bad song. And very, very, very few where I'm like, well, that's only an okay song. Blonk. Come on, on guard. <laughs> Come on, on guard. <laughs> you can breathe above water. Come on. Thank you for the camera. I appreciate it. All right, now we get to see Dixie's victory dance. Thus far, hard mode's not very hard. That will probably change, though. Oh, you're on the level where you play as on guard? Uh, Arctic Abyss. That's that's an interesting one. Oh yeah, time for bonus bonanza. Without Diddy Kong. Give him a big hand, folks! Good evening, I'm Swanky Kong, and you're tonight's contestants on my bonanza! It's easy to play. Use right and left on the D-pad and then pick a barrel and then press A button to begin the game. You will then be asked a series of questions. Use the D-pad to move left and right between the stars on the ground. Once you're on the correct star, press the A button to activate that star. Swanky swag. One coin. What is my name? 
You're a swanky Kong. Good answer! Here we go again. What is the first enemy that you see in the entire game? It's bad graphics, but it's a furry rat. You clever little monkey! Now, you listen carefully. What is the name of this area of the island? Uh, it's Game Party Galley. I saw my mistake, but it was too late. I had already pushed the button. <laughs> Sorry, that's not what I'm looking for. I failed the first quiz show. This is great. <laughs> What is my name? You're Wonky Kong, right? Diddy would have gotten the answer right. Just saying. It's Gain Plank Galleon, not Gain Land Galleon. Until next time on some Winky's Bonus Bonanza! Well, you deserve this prize. Pirate Puzzler. Hey. What button do you press to run? You press A, the B button. How very confusing. That's correct! Here's the next one! What is the name of the first level in the game? <laughs> pirate Picnic. No, Pirate Panic. Well done! Let's have another! What is the name of the enemy boss who kidnapped Donkey Kong? Captain K. Rap. Nice. Captain K. Roll. If you fancy a game, you know my name! We have a winner here tonight, folks! The Chimp Challenge. We can do this. In the first level of the game, how many windows did the Captain's Cabin have? It had four! That's what I'm looking for! Next one, please! What is the name of the first rigging level? Main Brace Mayhem. Well done! Let's have another! In the first level of the game, which of these is not a background object in Captain's Cabin? There was no gun in that cabin. This is not America. I'll have even better prizes next time! Well done! You got them all right! If you fancy a game, you know my name! Bonus bananas is legitimately fun. I I like it. And you get a bunch of lives for it. Alright. Last level of the first world. Top sale trouble. <laughs> that is pure coincidence that I happen to play games where I complete quiz shows. This and Paper Mario. Rattly is also a lot better in the GBA version. He's much, much easier to control. For one, he did... Ah, uh, he's faster. He also, like... Even his little, like, idle hopping animation whenever he moves, it's not really a hop, it's just his running animation. It's much, much easier to control. <laughs> Destroy them all! Well, that's my motto in life, right? <laughs> also, Rattly is a very weird character. It's like, it's a snake that you ride on his back, but he's, like, coiled upwards. Oh yeah, and also he jumps high. <laughs> it's very, very weird. <clears throat> there we go. I can't remember exactly where the feather is. Uh might be over here? Oh, nope. My mistake, it's farther up in the level. Now we get to do this first part without Rattly. How wonderful. This is also where the bees start playing a role, and they're kind of annoying. There we go, that's where the feather is. Uh oh. Whoops. <laughs> yes, destroy them all. Yeah, I think that's a very normal thing to say. And it's definitely not being taken out of context at all. How badly do I want the N? Diddy sacrificed his life to get the N. It was it was a worthy sacrifice, Diddy. I know, I love... I love the level title, and the level themes, and just the levels in general. Wait, you know, Diddy wouldn't have died like that. <laughs> but Dixie can hover, which is pretty useful. My, my experience of this game is that the people who are, like, the speedrunners, and the people who are, like, really good at the game, really like Diddy... And then the people who are not, uh, kind of learning the game prefer Dixie. And it makes sense, because Diddy's a bit faster. 
a little more acrobatic, and then Dixie Kong can hover. All right, let's try this again. Doggone it! I suck at this. Remember when I said, I'm pretty good at this game? Yeah, that was a lie. <laughs> Alright, fourth time's the charm. This, that is the downside to the GBA port. The GBA has a much narrower screen, so you can't see as high. Alright, there we go. We got the creme coin, all is right with the world. Alright. There's our big boy coin. Give me that camera. No, I didn't get the G. Did he die for nothing? <laughs> ah, well. It happens. Okay, time for Funky Funky's Fights 2. I am not a fan of these minigames, but whatever. Look at good dudes! I'm Funky the Main Monkey, and my new Funky's Flights can take you anywhere on Crocodile Isle. Provided you've already checked it out, of course. Unfortunately, I'm overrun with business at the moment, so I'm far too busy to help you guys out. Don't worry, though. I'm sure we can come to some arrangement. I know. I'll lend you one of my copters, but only if you can prove you can fly it. Cruise on over and jump in the barrel, man. Go ride the skies. Red dudes, listen up. This is how you fly. Use the D-pad to steer the gyrocopter. Press the A button, we'll fire the main gun. Have you got all that? Aerial loop. This is a piece of cake. All you have to do is take off and fly through the 20 rings. You can pass through each ring in any direction. Slowly land at the helipad to complete the mission. You have five minutes of fuel. Good luck. All right, well, at least the first of these missions is really easy. The later missions get super duper annoying, though. Also, this is just the beginning of the Bramble levels that we're gonna see. Spoiler alert, I am not a fan of the Bramble levels. Some of the few levels in the game I don't like. Who's spitting at me? That's not cool. Fly through one gold ring to reach Dinosaur Planet. There we go. Mission completed really easily! Awesome, guys! You sure got the hang of flying! You are now free to use the copter whenever you need it! Just access your inventory by pressing start and choose gyrocopter. One more thing, I could use a good pilot. Come back to see me, I got plenty of jobs on the go! Here, take this! Many thanks, guys! Yeah, if we want 100%, we're gonna need to do that. In every world. Fun, fun, fun. Alright, time for the first boss, Crow's Nest. <laughs> I love how their eyes pop out. It's the first boss, Captain Crow. And he's pretty easy. Come on, Dixie, there's free money up there. I love how I'm like, Diddy's face will cover the map, I promise this, and then Dixie ends up beating two of the levels. <laughs> Just touching him with the egg is enough to make him take damage. Uh-oh. Alright, how many fake eggs are we gonna get? Way to throw it up, Diddy! Your throwing skills are impeccable. <laughs> there we go. Just jump into him with the egg. That works just as well. There we go. I like that nice little bit of foreshadowing as well that got added. <laughs> His ghost literally flies away. Well done! You sure showed that, favorite freak! I can't wait to see how you get on in Crocodile Cauldron. Go on, then! Go! What are you waiting for? Oh, yeah! First world complete. Now we're on world two. Crocodile Cauldron. And the first level of the world... 
Hothead Hop. Um, I got stuck on this level for an embarrassingly long time as a child. Keep in mind, this was after I had already beaten Donkey Kong Country 1. I got stuck on this level for one simple reason. I didn't know how to run. <laughs> no joke. <laughs> this level you cannot beat if you don't know how to run. And, yeah. It was embarrassing. So those red crockheads there, if you hold the run button... Oops. If you hold the, like, if so if you just go on them normally, they don't launch you very high. If you hold the run button, though, they do. I could not get over that ledge over there. And this was before I knew about the internet, where you could look stuff like that up. Cannonball! Boink! Boink! Which... Putting two and two together, yes, this means uh, my first time playing Donkey Kong Country 1. I beat the entire game without knowing you could run. Boy, howdy, did that make the last world a lot harder. <laughs> Tanked up trouble was virtually impossible. But now it's just a funny story. Okay, I have very mixed feelings about Squitter. But at least in the GBA version, you can scale vertical heights with him extremely quickly. He can't actually jump on enemies' heads without taking damage, but he can create web platforms, which is cool, but just takes a while. Find the Krem coin! With pleasure. This is an interesting introduction for Squitter, honestly, because um, the game doesn't do a great job of telling you how to create those platforms. You have to use the R button. One thing you didn't find out about Tanked Up Trouble, the one part where you let the platform pass without you to prevent you from softlocking the game, it just has they like they react to it. Oh, that's interesting. I did not know about that. Alright, we're, we're rolling in the dough as far as the crumb coins are concerned. Thanks, Squitter, you were a pal. Boink! Oh boy, a single banana. Did he so excited to get one banana? He just has to dance a jig. Oh, one thing about the SNES version I do really like, though, is that the end of level jingles and the death jingles change depending on what kind of level you're on. I wish, I do wish that was in the this version. Bonus bonanza again. Step right up! It's your lucky day here on my bonus bonanza! I know you're gonna win the big one! Cranky's Challenge. What is the name of the first lava level in this area of the island? Boiler Curfew? <laughs> I wish that was a level. You clever little monkey! Now listen carefully! What is the name of this area of the island? Crocodile Cauldron. Well done! Let's have another! How many times did you have to hit the end of Area Giant Bird to kill him? That was just four times. Everyone's a winner here! Unless you lose, in which case you're a loser. Nice going, guys! Here's your prize! Lucky Lava! Lava doesn't have luck. What are you talking about? What colors were the crocodile heads you jumped on in the first lava level? They were green and red. Okay, try this one. What is an extra lives balloon covered in red worth? It's worth just one life. Just like in real life. <laughs> Good answer! Here we go again! Excluding the end of area boss, how many levels were there on the first area of the island? There were just five, if you exclude the boss. Everyone's a winner here! We have a winner here tonight! Some of these questions get really annoying. <laughs> gorilla game. This gorilla's got game, I'll show you. How many banana bunches would you have to collect to get an extra life? You would have to collect ten, because they're each worth ten. That's correct! Here's the next one. What did the beetle first... Where did the beetle first appear during the first area of the island? Level two. Well done! Here's another. What is the name of Diddy's ponytailed girlfriend? If we got this roll on the right in front of her, that would be hilarious. But no, it's Dixie. See you next week! <laughs> Did he answer his wrong and Dixie breaks up with him? <laughs> Makes it awkward when they have to rescue Donkey Kong together. Free out of free, you're pretty good at this. You've been great, contestants! Wow, we almost had 50 lives. This is incredible. <laughs> Alright, off to the first mineshaft level, Cannon's Claim. 
One thing I like about DK Country 2 is that each of the levels in... Uh, like, the levels do a great job of introducing new gimmicks without being super gimmicky. It's just, like, it's always throwing new stuff at you, but it's never, like, super gimmicky. Where, like, I feel Donkey Kong Country 3 got at times. Find the creme coin. Well, first off... Yeah, they hid the hero coin in the bonus level. It's kind of mean. <laughs> just chuck Dixie Cone off a cliff. Don't ex I don't I don't understand why only one of these cones can enter the barrel with their face on it. Doesn't really make sense from a <laughs> from a practical standpoint, but from a level design standpoint, I get it. <laughs> Probably my favorite sound effect from the enemies. <laughs> Whoops. This is one of those songs that I feel like actually definitely improved in quality in the GBA version. It's more about the mining and less about the melancholy. My gosh, these levels are so fun, though. Like, I'm inspired by how just how doggone fun these levels are. And again, just everything, the graphics, the music, the gameplay, the level design, its it all just flows together so well. It, this game is a masterpiece. <laughs> we blew up the entire bird. Find the crumb coins! Yeah, that's true. The bananas... The, the bananas that they put on the level often point you to where you need to go in a lot of places, at least to find the secrets. I also think that Donkey Kong Country 2 did a great job of improving on the bonus barrels. In the first game, the bonus barrels were kind of fun, but a little lackluster at times. The bonus barrels in this feel very fun and rewarding, and I like how they give you a unique prize for completing them. Oh no! No Diddy Kong. Guess I'll have to grab the end the old-fashioned way. Didn't even need to use the barrels as platforms. Haha, <laughs> find the creme coin again. Easy. There it is! Uh-oh. Okay, this last part we'll need to do a precise jump. Oh no! That was that was the Neki we needed the precise jump off of. Hang on, can we get him to respawn? No! Talk on it. Well, you know what, folks? We barely have to repeat much of that level. Because there's this delightful little thing called warp barrels in the first two worlds. I like how the bananas make up an exclamation point. Alright. Why didn't he spawn last time? That's not the same bird as the one I saw earlier. There we go. Alright. <sighs> Funky's Flight's too. This is, this is one of the lamer of the missions. Pick it and kick it, Cons! You're A-OK! -okay. Whoa, dude! You back again? I have just the job for you, but you must learn to fly using the advanced controls. Pressing the R button will lock your facing direction, allowing you to shoot while moving backwards. Pressing the L button will make the copter face forward. Useful in tight situations. One thing, though, while in this mode, you can only drop bombs. Submerged stint. I need you to take a chest to the second landing zone. There's one problem. The way ahead is flooded. The gyrocopter can only hold so much air, so keep a close eye on the gauge at the bottom right corner of the screen. Press select to release the winch. It'll automatically hook onto the chest. Press select again to retract the winch. One more thing, you'll need to pick up some ammo packs and blast your way through any blockades. This is a long haul mission. I filled her up to the max. You have ten minutes of flying time. Don't waste it. This one took me ages to figure out how to do. Alright. So, we gotta pick up that chest. We gotta pick up... Alright, come on, Dixie. Pick up... There we go. 
There we go. We have ammo now. Now we can blast fiends. One of my favorite pastimes. Oh, the spiders were the fiends spitting at me in the first mission. Ouch. You fool, I'm immortal. Yeah, I... We lost the chest. Lovely. One of those annoying things about the mission. Dog on it. <sighs> Gotta keep a close eye on the chest. Yeah, so I'm like, this leads to a dead end. Where can we? What can we do? You can blast that crate and only that crate. It's a slightly different shade. <laughs> you sure you know how to fly this thing? I'm fine, Funky. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. <laughs> there we go. I have no idea how you're able to fly a helicopter underwater. But don't question it, it's Donkey Kong Country logic. Oh no, that chest is gonna get stuck. You know, sometimes a game can have two good physics. You get what I'm saying? Oh wait, actually, we should refill on air. <laughs> Come on, chest. Uh-oh. Shoot, we actually need to be very careful about our HP. I'm just now realizing how doggone low on HP our, our helicopter is. Oh f- Aha! Uh -huh. we, we touched a box with a wrench in it, therefore we got full HP. Makes sense to me. Man, Funky, this is one magical helicopter. A b what? That one shot me? What the heck? And the chest is still all the way where we left it. Wonderful. Stupendous. <laughs> you know, Dixie, you were flying this a lot better in the first world. Granted, the first world's mission was significantly easier. This is honestly, like, definitely tough for the second mission. The next couple of missions are a lot easier. Well, okay, at least starting in World 4, they're easier. <laughs> Alright, don't touch the puff-ups. Bad things happen. Okay, we're pretty close to where we dropped the chest. And thank goodness the chest actually didn't drop, like, super far back. Come on, where is it? <laughs> Alright, here we go. Oh, hey, the, puff the pufferfish is also still dead. I think we literally died at, like, the end of the level. <gasps> All right. Take that, Funky. Not cool, dude! <laughs> cool, dude! <laughs> he changed his mind real fast. Mission complete. Oh, thank goodness. Not a, f not a fun <laughs> mission. Well done, guys! You did it! The chest is still in one piece, barely. Thanks for your help! Take this hero coin. We have to collect quite a few more of those than we did in the SNES version. Save successful. Wonderful. Alright, now let's get back to the good part of the game, shall we? Lava Lagoon. Hey, Clapper. Clapper spits just a tiny bit in the lava and it immediately turns into water. I know that's what would happen in real life, too.
But hey, it's another level with this amazing Lockjaws saga music, so... I certainly can't complain. It's weird going for these levels without the checkpoint barrels. Because I always arrive at a part, I'm like, wait, where's the bar barrel? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's not really going to start hurting, though, until, uh, World f 4, maybe? Or maybe, honestly, it could start hurting in World 3. Alright, one of you guys has the photograph I need. This is not good. That's not good at all. Gotta keep... <laughs> no, on guard! <laughs> you, you left me for dead, on guard! <laughs> uh, I, I don't like how there... It's like, oh, of course you can just swim through this crate. Well... <laughs> No checkpoint barrels starting to hurt us now, actually. <laughs> Shaggy, what's up? Yes, it is Donkey Kong Country 2. On everyone's favorite, the GBA version. <laughs> we were actually talking about this in a Mario Kart stream recently. I'm also playing hard mode, so, um, no buddy barrels, no checkpoints. It's an experience. And just to make it fun, I'm also trying to go for 100%. Boink! Can't miss on guard! Literally, because I still haven't gotten that photograph I need. Alright. There's a piranha up here. That is on my... <laughs> is on my hit list. There we go. Hope we don't need Diddy Kong for the rest of this level. We can all agree Donkey Kong Land 2 was ack. Never played it. So I can't confirm or deny that. I will say, though, that the Game Boy... Is it, was that just the original Game Boy, or was that Game Boy Color? I think it was just original Game Boy. If so, well, that's definitely a... <laughs> that was definitely a console that had very, very severe hardware limitations, so yeah. Wouldn't be able to translate a lot of it super well, I would imagine. <laughs> I was literally about to jump into the lava. Without a care in the world. Ah! <laughs> the beetle almost tried to kill me underwater! Thank you for keeping me safe from lava, Mr. Seal Spit. <laughs> I appreciate it. Oh yay, we still have Dixie, so we can get the guitar. Oh, it was for Game Boy Pocket. Yeah, that's... Game Boy Pocket had some good games. Mario Land was pretty good. Very, very weird for a Mario game, though. <laughs> like, you you jump on the Koopa, and instead of, like, getting to kick its shell, its shell, like, blows up like a bomb. It's, it was very strange. Alright, time for one of the few levels of the game I don't particularly like. Red Hot Ride. It's a little too slow-paced for my liking. Too much time is spent doing a tiptoe on the uh, hot air balloons. Also, I'm gonna keep Dixie around so that. Oh, wait! Thanks for extending my jump, man! I appreciate it. You saved my life. Hey, hey, buddy. I, I need you. Boosh! Rambi, I desperately need you. 
You're the best. <laughs> now I know what true power feels like. <laughs> Imagine this in black and white, but you don't have some of the levels, worlds, or good music. Oh. Lame. Maybe they could just cut out the bad levels, like Red Hot Ride or Bramble Blast. <laughs> And Gusty Glade. Actually, basically every level. Well, no, not every level in World 5. There are two stinkers in World 5. Yeah. I like the more fast-paced levels, so Red Hot Ride doesn't really do it for me. Interesting idea, though. And it's very convenient of K. Rule to have left all these hot air balloons for us to ride. It's just... just wonderful. DESTROY THEM ALL! Just like Mario Kart 8 Battle Mode. This is as far as you got the first time you played the game. Yeah, Red Hot Ride's a pretty common, like... How would you say it? Oh, thank thankfully they gave us a crate. <laughs> Instead of the usual DK barrel. Red Hot Ride is one of those, like, gate gatekeeper levels. That make a lot of people give up on the game. My gatekeeper level was Hothead Hot, because again, no run button. <laughs> Wonderful. I also often forget where the DK coin and Fever are on this level. I may have already missed them, actually. Oh, nope. DK coin is up there. I think. Yep. Heh <laughs> heh. Sneaky. Oh, yeah. Web Woods is... That's, that's a nasty one. I think, I'm trying to think. The level I found the hardest my first time playing? Mmm, that's a tough one. Pr On my first time playing, I would say the level that gave me the most, most trouble was probably the Chain Link Chamber. Just because I never found the halfway point on that level. So I had to do the whole thing in one go. There were also several enemy types that I just didn't really know how to uh, get past. The worst part of Web Woods is the DK coin, though. Like, what sadist put it as as a roulette bonus at the end and made it flash for, like, two frames before it disappears? Oh, good. We spelled calm. We don't have to do that in this game, but I choose to, because I'm a big believer in spelling. Oh, I almost just jumped into the lava right there. <laughs> there are some very well-hidden bonus rooms in this game. The Web Woods ones, yeah, definitely tough. Time for Squawk Shaft. Time for Diddy's Death. Diddy just got sucked into the black hole there. Don't worry about it. I love how this level is called Squawk's Shaft, but Squawk is, is barely on this level. It's like Squawk's makes a brief cameo at the end. Most of this is rotating barrel cannons. <laughs> hey, Nintendo Addict, welcome. Yeah, you came in at a great time. Okay. Ouch. Can't remember which one of those chests has the creme coin. <laughs> I mean, none of none of the bonus barrels came close to being as well hidden as the uh, that one oil drum alley bonus barrel that was in the other bonus barrel. There we go. Oh, 
Oh boy, a one-up. That's what girlfriends are for. For throwing into barrels you can't reach. That's what this game taught me. Curiously, I'm still single. Ah, oh, yeah, you need the you need the buddy fro for this up for quite a bit. <laughs> now, Shaggy, I can't tell if you tried to swear there or if you actually typed in free asterisks. <laughs> Remember, there's no swearing in this family-friendly chat. <laughs> it makes it especially difficult for me to edit these videos since I'm displaying Twitch chat. <laughs> I hope I don't need that buddy fro again. <laughs> Cause I just... <laughs> oh boy, it's time for Squawks' brief cameo. Actually, I guess Squawks is here for half the level. It's not a brief cameo, but I mean, if you're putting Squawks' name in the title of the level, you need to give him the whole level, not just half of it. Ouch. Oh, you tried to send a clip. Oh yeah, I think I've had... I think I have links blocked because... You would not believe how many um, naughty bots have tried to link stuff to me that I did not ask for. If you post it in your Discord, I'll see it. <laughs> or in my Discord. What, one or the other. If clip links are blocked, though, like, if it's even, like, cl my own clips that are blocked, then I'm gonna have to fix that. Because that's very dumb. That's the whole point of clips. <laughs> to share them with your friends. Want to get famous, bots? The bots didn't actually take the hint that I genuinely don't want to be famous. It was shocking to them. The bots are like, <laughs> want to be famous? Already, no. Surprise Pikachu face. Oh, here's here's something to get the Twitch chat going. Does Squawk spit out eggs or nuts? I always thought he spat out nuts. But I could be wrong about that. I think it's technically eggs. They look more like nuts in the uh, GBA version, though. It's bird food. Free money is always nice, but... Oh, hi! That's a gun! Oh, no! <laughs> but wait a second. I think at this point we have gotten everything on the level, right? Yeah, we have! That was the last bonus barrel, so... <laughs> Warp time! I love warp barrels. Yay, we spelled G! <laughs> My favorite word. <laughs> I tried to spell column, but it just came out as G. I hope that's okay. Oh, should we do the Lost World levels as we get access to them, or should we save them all for the end? Because we could go to Clubbus Kiosk right now and start taking them on, or should we just save them all for the end, because they are the toughest levels? Vote now! Do them as you access them? Alright, sure. Hey, Clubba. Splice me, main brace! It's the monkeys! I hope you've got enough booty this time, or you'll walk the plank. Fight him! Come back and face me, yellow-bellied dogs! <laughs> take him on for early. Okay, everyone says take him on early. That's a game for me. 
Scurvy chimps ahoy! Come on, me yeah, yeah, Try and cross Clubber's Bridge without paying, I dare ya. We'll pay up 15 cram coins. If yours get into any trouble, Clubber here will help you out. What a guy. He has no face in the GBA version. Alright, Cranky. Jungle Jinx. I'm not fishing for follows, Shaggy, but that's why I'm not as bigger. That's why I'm not as big of a streamer as you are. <laughs> also, fun fact: on my first time playing this level, I thought these were spike balls. So I'm like, why can you jump on them and bounce? I was a dumb kid. Well, <laughs> that was not worth it. <laughs> Diddy died for a coin. Yoink! Ouch. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's, let's try that again. I knew I wasn't going to get Jungle Jinx on the first try. Again, let's let's save Dixie for a second, because if I lose a Cone, it helps to have that hover ability. Hey, careful! Also, who? why are there all these tires in the jungle? Is there a set of, like, just decommissioned jeeps somewhere in here? Darn it! That's a precise jump. Bonus time! Oh no! Oh no, wait, this bonus barrel is literally impossible without. <laughs> it's literally impossible without both columns. I forgot about that. And hard mode says, yeah, even if that's the case, you, you just gotta put. You gotta get good, make sure you don't die earlier. There's a Toyota dealership in the jungle. <sighs> They're just practicing for the next Mario Kart in here. Haha! -ha! Got the money and lived. Yeah, how about... Nope! Yeah, Diddy's hover ability definitely makes a lot of stuff a lot easier. Thank you, Dixie. Destroy them all! Alright. Now's the part where I hopefully don't suck at the buddy throw. Wonderful! Piggyback ride! Excellent. I like how this, the first of the Lost World levels, isn't, like, soul-grindingly difficult, considering you could access it pretty early on. They save the really tough ones for the later worlds. That was strange. Okay, we good. Whew. Money, baby. You try to take my bananas. How dare you? Nothing. Oh no, we only spelled con. That's how I feel. Well done! <laughs> oh, I should get that as a sound clip. <laughs> Honestly, pretty much any song cl sound clip from Donkey Kong 64 is a great sound clip. Oh no, we didn't get the feather. Oh, crud. Shoot, where's that Dane feather? 
I don't remember. I think it's hovering in a pit somewhere. I think it's like you have to ride a tire into a pit or something like that. Sometimes that feather man can just be a huge pain in the butt to reach. Don't mind me, I'm just a guy who makes weird sounds as I get into stressful situations in video games. Pretty normal stuff. Oh wait, it might be down here. No, it's not. Shoo! Oh my gosh! No wonder the sound alerts aren't working because I didn't have Mix It Up open. I thought I was forgetting something. I'm sorry, <laughs> So I wonder, if I open this up, is it immediately going to play the sound alert? Sorry about that. Okay. I did it for you. <sighs> Alright. Anyhow, back to the hunt. Ouch! <laughs> well, that didn't go well. <laughs> Whoops. Great. Get out. <laughs> the Lost World levels do have feathers, so... It's in here somewhere. Doggone it. That's not good. Should not have had Di I should not have had Dixie leading... Her hover ability is too useful and now! Oh no! <sighs> Alright. I also don't remember where the feather is on this stage. I think it's in a pit somewhere. <laughs> Might be to your left near where the N is. Perhaps. Uh, well, this'll be fun. <laughs> it's like it's like a blind let's play now. I remember where pretty much everything is in this game, but there are a couple of gold feather locations that I don't exactly remember. Ouch! <laughs> That's a glorious sound effect. Nothing quite like the sound of, like, 12 hedge hedgehogs all making that weird sound of- Oh! Okay! That's part of the reason why I thought those were spiky balls, because if they land on top of you, it's just instant death. Even if they don't crush you in into the ground. It's just- Oh no, the bottom of the tires. That's- Made of, um, lava, so you die. I like how the, like, Lost World levels are basically the jungle levels from Donkey Kong Country 1, but, like... <laughs> deadly. Because <laughs> the jungle levels from the first game were some of the least threatening levels. And how they're the most threatening levels. Outside the Bramble ones, of course. Oh, you're right! <laughs> I died, but I start selected. 
Did I actually lose a life for that? I don't know. <laughs> N nice one, Nintendo Addict. You were right. All right, off to Cleaver's Kiln. For the this is big brain time. <laughs> Cleaver's a tough guy. He's like a lava hand with a sword. He just can't stand cannonballs. For some reason. Definitely a big step up in difficulty from the first boss. Diddy don't care though, he's just having fun with his juggling balls. I also like how it's like a dark and thunderstormy night in the volcano. Uh oh. That's actually bad. Ouch! Go on without me. <laughs> there we go. Goodbye. He killed Diddy, but eh, Dixie doesn't really care. Diddy forgot her name in the bo in the <laughs> bonus bonanza. She's just casually blowing some bubble gum, <laughs> drinking a soda. <laughs> You sure took your time beating that rusty old sword. I beat him real fast. Let's get out of here. My fur's about to catch a light. Now head for the swampy creme key. I keep wanting to say creme quay, but it's creme key. Creme key. Not a very nice key. It's a swamp. Barrel by you. Oh, and this introduces us to cloaks. Who oh, sound completely different in the GBA version. <laughs> yeah, they don't sound anything like that in the SNES version. <laughs> but I love it. Rambi's gonna help us out. I also like the gyroscopic launch barrels. Those are fun. The <laughs> Keyblade! Oh, shoot. We missed the cannonball, didn't we? Oh, no, we didn't. I feel like the GBA ports of all of these, like, SNES games gave it a more, like, Saturday morning cartoony feel. Which I actually really appreciate. No! We can't break this chest on his face now. This is a sad day. Are there any enemies left for us to beat over the head with this? Anybody? That's bad. <laughs> Into the swamp for you. Have you not heard the DKC Free GBA soundtrack? David Wise composed that, and it's mm, really, really good. It's probably a controversial thing to say, but I definitely think it's a big improvement over the uh, SNES soundtrack. And I am a very biased source, I fully admit this. The, the SNES soundtrack tends to be very, very atmospheric, and it fits the overall field levels, but they're not as catchy or bombastic as David Wise's songs. That was a slight miscalculation. Did you just throw a bee out of your cloak? What do you have in there? <laughs> I'm a little concerned. Ouch. Another slight miscalculation there. I'm getting a lot of those. I knew it, I knew it. World Free was going to be where I actually started having troubles. Joink? 
<laughs> he's a beekeeper. But he he had like that ain't no normal sized bee there. That's like a that bee was about as big as he was. I never really thought about it before, but yeah, Xenars from Donkey Kong Country, they're literally like gorilla sized bees. That is actually terrifying. Imagine imagine you're just taking a walk in the woods, ouch. You take a walk in the woods, only to discover, oh my gosh, there is a bee the size of a gorilla. I don't know about you, but that's one of the most nightmarish animals you could probably face. Alongside of any of those giant cats. Oh no, did he wander off... Did he scroll himself off the screen? No, he did not. I mean, he did, but then he came back. Okay, let's try this again. There we go. <laughs> Cloak... Cloak is a henchman for K. Roll Second, but his one true passion is beekeeping. Now we're get we're getting the deep lore on Donkey Kong Country 2 today. <laughs> they just threw a bunch of bugs and then cackled about how evil they were. That's amazing. They just don't make games like this anymore. Oh, I spelled Keen! <laughs> Can I get a 1-up for that? Nope. Thanks, Cloak. You helped me out there, buddy. Find the Krem coin! With pleasure. Man, we already have a lot more Krem coins. This is great. Wanted to get that one up. I was wondering if we were going to have 99 lives by the end of the stream, but I don't think that's going to happen unless we can, unless something really special happens on Glimmer's Galleon. Speaking of which, the next level is Glimmer's Galleon! The last of the Lockjaw Saga levels. The whole gimmick of this level is it's supposed to be pitch black and impossible to see. It's perfectly easy to see on the Game Boy Advance if you have a backlit screen. <laughs> it's great. Find the Krem coin. Yeah, like, it's supposed to be pitch black, basically. And if you're if you're playing on the, a regular Game Boy Advance without the worm light adapter, it is kind of dark. Hence why they give you, like, 30 seconds more than you really need it for that <laughs> bonus barrel. I love how we find secret number three first. Alright, now I think we can actually enlist the help of Glimmer. Oh, that poor clomp. <laughs> he's like, help me, can't breathe! Actually, wait, he's, he's a crocodile. Crocodiles... Can crocodiles breathe underwater? I actually don't think they can. But they can hold their breath for a while. That one banana was beckoning. Alright, I can't remember exactly where one of the cameras is, and I also can't remember exactly where the feather is. So we're going exploring today, folks! Oh wait, the camera's up here, I think. Yep. The crunches are bodybuilders and motivational trainers! <laughs> I love this. <laughs> All these aquatic creatures used to be part of K. Rule's aquarium, but then they broke out. But they still like him. They just wanted more space.
Give me that camera! Alright. I still can't remember where that feather is. I may have already missed it. This level is definitely... complex. There's a lot of ins and outs. Oh, hey, I found Nemo! Oh, no, I found Nemo! I also just realized something. Did we get all of the... Did we get all of the bonus barrels on, um, Lava Lagoon? We may have missed one. Hmm. <laughs> the deep, intricate lore of the Donkey Kong Country 2 minions. I do know, if there if there was one thing that every Donkey Kong Country fan was clamoring for, it was more better storylines. <laughs> I know I play Donkey Kong Country primarily for the amazingly written story. And deep characters. <laughs> deep characters in this are like, look, Swanky has a quiz show. <laughs> He's not just a monkey, he has his own quiz show. <laughs> Here, it's Candy. She's a girl. Isn't that a great personality trait? <laughs> it's Kitty Kong. He's Yun. <laughs> There's Lanky Kong. He's silly. <laughs> Actually, Lanky Kong has more personality than all the other Kongs put together. <laughs> Please do, Shaggy. <laughs> Please do. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Where are you, Gold Feather? It's weird. Me playing this on hard mode now, it feels like me playing it on regular mode the first time I played. It's kind of interesting. <laughs> Glimmer's also an electrician. That... <laughs> by that... Well, <laughs> did your lights go out? Just call Glimmer, he'll fix them up. Are you not underwater? Oh, well, uh... Good luck with that. And you also know that Carol's henchmen are definitely inspired to do all this stuff. Oh, there's the feather. Carol's henchmen are inspired to do this because Carol himself is kind of a renaissance man. He's, he has a great work ethic. I mean, he's like 12 different occupations all at once. He's a king. Like, K. Rool is royalty. He is King K. Rool. But he also has his own pirate crew. He knows all about airships and pirate ships. And he's a heavyweight boxer. And he's he knows a lot about science. And if the TV show is anything to go off of, he also is a big, pa a greatly passionate singer. And that's why K. Rool is the best Nintendo villain. Also, can you really... K. Rool kind of has understandable motivations. Like, Donkey Kong has, like, gathered all of the food in the forest, all of these bananas, and is just hoarding them. He's not eating them. He's literally just hoarding them, sometimes casing them in gold first, and then just like, nobody's allowed to touch these. And it's like, hey, um... Other animals exist besides just you, Donkey Kong. He's like, nope, no they don't. You better not touch my banana horde. And K. Rool's like, alright, well... Yeah, the, don't, this is not going to stand. <laughs> I think K. Rool's more of the, uh, mad scientist variety, but... <laughs> sure, maybe he's, maybe he's studying up on dermatology as well. K. Rool's like Kirby, but he loses to DDD. K. Rool loses to nobody. K. Rool just lets people think that they've won. Honestly, it's these underwater enemies that are probably the most annoying enemies in the game for me, because you can't fight back against them without on guard.
Oh no, I spelled Kane again. <laughs> no! Stop shooting them diagonally. Alright. Thank goodness Diddy can hold his breath. Wait, where did where did Dixie come from? She just died. <laughs> I don't know. So if we go to level stats, did I actually get everything in the last world? Oh, I did. Oh, fantastic. Alright, I think we have time for one more fame. And that is everyone's favorite Funky's Fights too. <laughs> Wicked! She's all tuned up and ready to go! Back again? This mission is quite tricky. Construction! The Kremlins have destroyed the DK statue! Find the pieces and reconstruct it. To hook a statue piece, press select to release the winch. Pressing select again will drop off anything on the rope. Oh, and one more thing. Keep a close eye on the statue pieces rebuilt, as they might go missing. You have five minutes of fuel, so get going. <laughs> Alright. Construction is an annoying mission, because it's like, oh, you just you just recovered the priceless Donkey Kong statue, but then the dragonflies stole it and said, what? I'm not joking. How come the dragonflies do that much damage, also? That don't make no sense. Honestly, my strategy for this level is generally just tank the hits from the dragonflies, and if you have to respawn, so be it. Look at that! Like, I literally turned my back for, like, half a second, and it's like, oh, they stole it. This is good game design. Alright, thanks for joining in, Shaggy. I'll be ending the stream in a couple minutes, so... Have a good night. Alright, I don't want to... I don't want to blow up the gyrocopter, but it's almost certainly going to happen. Oh man! Dragonflies are staying away from it. It's fa it's a Christmas miracle. Alright. DK's face, the most important part. Everybody loves DK's face. It's his best feature. Alright. No, no, no. No! They blew me up! Don't you dare steal the priceless Donkey Kong statue! Don't you dare steal the priceless Donkey Kong statue! How could you? Put that back! Where's DK's face? There's DK's face. You stay away from this DK statue. Just... There we go. It turns to gold. Now they can't ever steal it again. I think I just blew up the repairs. <laughs> dun, dun, da, 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 da. Mission complete. Wow! You sure know how to handle that old bird. Here's your reward. Aw, oh, yeah. Wonderful. Alright, I think that's gonna do it for this stream. We got, oh, like exactly an hour and a half done. Awesome. We almost made it halfway for the Krem Key. Next time we go to Crockhead Clamber, which, my personal opinion, is the last good level of this world. But hey, the others aren't terrible. Alright, we better save the game, because we uh, haven't really saved all that much. Yeah, this is a ton of fun playing. I'm glad so many people were interested in this. Hope you guys tune in for more on Wednesday. Just two days from now, I'll be continuing this. Let's see if we can get up to World 5. That'll be pretty awesome if we can. Alright, it's going to get a lot tougher next time, though, because next time we introduce the Bramble levels. It's going to be a thing. Alright. I'm going to sign off there. Thank you all for tuning in. This was so much fun. I look forward to seeing you guys next time. Hope you have a fantastic rest of your night, and God bless.